Good afternoon my viewers welcome back everyone today we're going to take a closer look at the exciting progress of my pepper plants let's dive into it so remember these pepper plants i planted from seeds huh? and a scotch bonnet and madame chenette madame chenette actually originated from suriname so let's dive into it and look at the exciting progress so these are my pepper plants and if you look at them these peppers have a distinctive form or shape watch them look at this one so how did it start it
Just like that. So I have one, two. This is a young one I just transplanted. Three, four, five, and they're producing. I'm so excited to see the fruits of my labor. So I plant this in containers, two gallons and three gallons. The ideal size is actually three gallons, but you can always use the two gallons. The only thing is because they, the water can evaporate very fast, you will have to water frequently, maybe every day. Now what I do, I use sauces to catch excessive water that drains from the container so that the plants don't dry out through the day so these are the sources when there's a lot of rain I will remove the sources okay so here I have one in a five gallon container and look how big he grow so the bigger the container the bigger the plant look at this one but it produced poorly it just started to produce so there we have one this one here just started to produce there we have one as well so you can go with a bigger container but then you need more soil potting mix as well so this is a three gallon this is a two gallon but still they are producing because I water them and I fertilize them quite frequently with organic fertilizer so because the plant is in a container the nutrients it receives are limited to what is in the container obviously right so you must fertilize the plant especially after heavy rain which can cause the soil to lose nutrients that are flushed away in my case for these I will catch it in the saucers so let's go to the pros and cons of planting in a container. So one, one pro is the mod uh, mobility. I can take this container and move it to another location as I wish. Second is pest control. It's easy for me to stand here, inspect the plant, and look for pest or disease. See, very easy. And also space efficiency. I have this structure here so it's actually a vertical space that it occupies so um, this is ideal for small spaces or balconies you can use your, your, your pots your containers and save on space and also soil control so I have complete control over the soil quality which can lead to a healthier plant what are the cons now? Well, one is frequent watering, as I explained before. Containers dry out faster than garden beds. You can mitigate that by using saucers. So, if not, it requires frequent watering. Limited growth. You see these in the container, how they grow, still produce. But look at this one in a bigger container. So the size of the container can limit the growth of the plant and potentially 
reduce yield. In this case, is the opposite. The one in the smaller two gallon container, look at them. Second, um, nutrient management. Container plants may need more frequent fertilization as nutrients can leach out with watering, right? So you have to manage and monitor that. <coughs> so those are the cons, but nonetheless, once you take all precautions and all the steps necessary, you can have a nice yield with your pepper plant as I have them here. Okay, so that was a little preview of my pepper plant, a little demonstration of the progress of my pepper plant. All right, so thank you for watching. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. For all my viewers, please like, comment, and share this video. And I see you in the next video. Bye for now. Bye-bye.